Hey guys, so here is the new Stinger VIP. Uh, this is a radar detector I'm really excited to test. Uh, essentially, this is going to be the best radar detector you can get at any price. It's going to give you the longest range and the fewest false alerts out of any radar detector on the market. Uh, Cliff at Stinger was nice enough to send me this demo unit here because I have a test coming up next week. And uh, now that I have one on hand, I'm going to be doing some videos and some testing to uh, you know, get familiar with the unit and show you guys what it's all about. So. Uh, what we're looking at here, this is a custom installed radar detector. It doesn't go to just you know, plug and play on your windshield. As you can see, we've got different components. So in this video, we're just going to go over what the different uh, components are in the package just to get familiar with uh, what all the Stinger VIP contains. So basically what we're looking at here, uh, this right here is going to be the VIP computer. Uh, it's essentially the brains of the unit. Everything is going to plug into there. Uh, the antennas, there's actually two of them here in this package. Uh, the basic package comes with just one single antenna. Uh, this particular package that we have here has a second antenna. Uh, front and rear like the Valentine one to give you directional information. Now the patch antennas right here are a little bit different than most radar detectors. Uh, they're not the traditional horn, they're actually these flat patch antennas, so the design is a little bit different than what you'll see with most radar detectors. Uh, again, I mentioned as there's, a, there's two of them here, so the package with a single radar detector antenna uh, retails for $3,000. If you want to add a second antenna like this, it adds an additional $1,500. So this package that you're looking at here is actually $4,500 uh, for this radar detector package. You also have the option of adding laser jammers, which this package that you're looking at does not include. But if you want laser jammers, that is something that you can add on here as well. So we've got uh, our two antennas right here, front and rear. Uh, we've got two brackets, which uh, you can attach these to your vehicle, and the antennas actually slide down into the brackets. So front and rear, we've got those there. Uh, this right here is going to be our display. We've got our display holder right here, which attaches to the computer. And then we've got the actual display, which uh, magnetically like attaches right onto the display holder. Pretty slick. Uh, we've got our speaker right there, as well as some little brackets to attach it. We've got a GPS cable right here to give us things like low speed muting and GPS lockouts. And then we've got our uh, power cables right here to wire into our vehicle for power. And then I've got to, uh, you know, copy the manual here as well, paper manual. So uh, those are the basic components. Let's take a look at uh, each component in a little bit more detail up close and, uh, you know, get a little bit more familiar here with the Stinger VIP. Okay, now here is a closer look at the uh, VIP computer. Essentially, like I mentioned, it's the brains of the unit. A uh, big black box with a bunch of ports uh, right here. So you can see we've got some ports for things like power, uh, display, our speakers. Uh, we've got the plugins for our uh, radar detector antenna, our GPS antennas, all that good stuff. So everything just plugs into here and then is uh, stuffed somewhere in the vehicle. And here are the patch antennas. Uh, these are definitely pretty interesting. They're a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Uh, just from the pictures that I've seen. Uh, basically, they're these little rectangular flat-ish boxes and pretty tiny. We've got our uh, radar antennas like this. They do need to be mounted vertically. You can't actually mount them horizontally, which depending on the orientation of your car and stuff might be a little bit more convenient. These ones do have to be installed vertically. Uh, this is your uh, you know, antennas right here that actually face out towards the radar gun. On the back, we've got some uh, heat sinks essentially. Make sure you've got airflow. This part gets pretty hot, so you're gonna wanna make sure it stays nice and cool. So we've got two of them here. Uh, they went ahead and labeled them front and back. You basically plug them in, and uh, there's no front and back ports in the Stinger. Um, basically, once you plug it in, it figures it out by itself, and then automatically assigns one to be the front and the back. Since this one is essentially a used unit, uh, they've already been using it, they went ahead and labeled which one the Stinger has assigned as uh, front and rear. Um, now, because they're uh, pretty small and it's kind of hard to get a sense of scale, they're about 4.3 inches tall or so. Uh, I've grabbed a couple things uh, just to kind of help give you guys a, a sense of scale and a feel for how big these antennas are. They're pretty much um, the same height as like an iPhone 3GS right here. So if you take a look, uh, it's a little bit wider than the old iPhones, but uh, about the same height, maybe a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. So that, that's a good way to tell. So a uh, pretty small device. I'll put the actual uh, dimensions of the antennas up on the screen so you can get a feel for them, but uh, they're actually surprisingly small, which is good. It's going to make your installation a little bit easier. Uh, they are waterproof. They're designed to go uh, in your bumper, perhaps behind your bumper. Uh, definitely take a look at the manual. They have to be behind uh, non-metallic paint and not behind um, 
a mesh grill that will negatively impact performance. Uh, because of that, because I have metallic paint and a mesh grill, I'm actually going to be installing it uh, temporarily for testing on the outside of my vehicle. Uh, I was kind of curious about uh, strength and, you know, a rock chips going to hurt it, that kind of stuff. Apparently they are really strong, so you can actually mount it on the outside of your vehicle and not worry about uh, damage. Uh, so things like that, um, I was kind of concerned about if somebody's parallel parking and bumps into it, they may damage it. Uh, so I put it off to the side a little bit so uh, these guys don't actually take any impact. But once I get it installed, I'll do some uh, demo videos of that as well. The antennas also come with a set of brackets. Uh, you can basically take these brackets, install them to your vehicle, and uh, the antennas will actually slide down into the brackets and be held in place that way. You can bend these, mold them, attach them to your vehicle. It's going to make a... Uh, Installing and uninstalling perhaps uh, a little bit easier. So basically the idea is you take a bracket install it to your car and The antenna should then just slide Right in There we go like that and it would hold in place um, You can tell this is a used unit. It's not a brand new one. So maybe just from being you know installed and uninstalled It's a little bit tougher for me to do a brand new one might be a little bit easier, but Yeah, that's not going to fall off by accident, that's for sure. Okay, here is the GPS cable. Very simple. One end plugs into the computer. The other one you install somewhere in your vehicle. Plug it in. It gives you all the uh, GPS-related functionality showing you your speed. You can use GPS lockouts, low speed muting, uh, speed-based filtering, all that kind of stuff. Plug in a GPS cable. Really long cable, it looks like. So, pretty simple and self-explanatory there. Here is the display for the Stinger VIP. You can see we've got a little LCD right here. Touch screen, uh, color screen right there. So once we plug it all in, uh, we'll go ahead and fire that up. This is going to be our interface. It comes in a little, uh, or with a little display holder, and it's magnetic, so basically just clips into place like that. And uh, if at any time you want to take it, remove it, that kind of stuff, and hide it, uh, it just pops right off that way. You've got uh, your contact points right there, which connect right there. So it makes that connection. And on the other side, you've got uh, looks like an HDMI cable, which plugs into the VIP computer uh, for your connection point. So that's the display. All right here is the speaker. So again, cable plugs into the uh, VIP computer. You got your speaker somewhere that you install in your vehicle. Uh, that way you can hear all the alerts. So you got your speaker here. Uh, pretty similar to the Escort or ALP size speakers. Uh, you've got your bracket here, which you can actually use to install somewhere in your vehicle, plus the uh, little connecting brackets and a pair of screws there to actually uh, install it in your vehicle. And finally, let's take a look at the actual uh, power cables that are included. Uh, there's actually two of them that come with the VIP. Uh, this is the main one right here. It's going to plug into your uh, computer with this cable, and then it comes with uh, two connectors. One is going to be your uh, power cable right here. The other one is going to be your ground. Uh, this one does come with a fuse as well. Fuse is right here. Looks like it's a two and a half amp fuse. Uh, this power cable is going to be connected uh, to a place that gets power full time, even when the vehicle is turned off. Uh, the second power cable is going to be the one that's going to be provided power when the vehicle is turned on. That way, the uh, VIP can fire up uh, once the vehicle is uh, turned on. So that's going to be what this cable is for. Uh, this orange cable right here plugs into an ignition activated power source. So once you uh, turn the car on, this guy will get power and that'll turn on the VIP. You have a green uh, stereo mute cable, so if you want you can hook that up to your uh, radio's mute and uh, when you get an alert the VIP can automatically mute your stereo so that, that way you can hear your alert. And then you've also got this black cable here which is uh, not currently in use but it's going to be something available for uh, future use. So that's a look at our uh, cables and everything included here in the VIP. Uh, as I mentioned, this is not uh, everything that you can possibly get. There is also the optional uh, laser jammers. If you get the jammers, you're going to get the laser jammer heads. You're going to get the laser analyzer box, the LAB, the lab, um, some extension boxes. So there's other stuff that's available with it as well. But for those of you guys who are looking at just the radar detector package, uh, this is everything that's included with the, uh, the dual antenna Stinger VIP radar detector set.